Pisces, this is all about you. Pisces, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to start over here on YouTube with the full oracle card spread. I'll flip the camera around to review the cards with you as well. And then there's always a link below if you so choose to grab the extended. Please do. That's a full tarot card spread as well as a romance reading that articulates this oracle card reading. So Pisces, this is for Pisces. Pisces energy for the next seven days. Pisces sun, moon, rising, or wherever Pisces influences your natal chart, these are the energies that are going to be influencing um, influencing those aspects of your chart wherever Pisces is. Now remember, guys, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. Don't. This is not one size fits all. And you know that really nothing is one size fits all because every time we've ever ordered those one size fits all dresses, Seriously. <sighs> Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, something to drain you. Uh, conflict of yourself, a conflict of your own spirits, denial of your own self-worth or self-value. This came up in your um, romantic tarot card reading as well. Yes, it did. Get yourself around people who love you. In other words, if the strength cannot come from within you, be sure that you are surrounded by people who can build up that strength from the outside. We're going to do one more shuffle, Pisces, and then take your full reading. But the energy crowning you is something a little bit diminished. What's going on? What happened? Something that made you feel bad or made you feel diminished. A, 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 a choice or something that you didn't feel proud of. Something that maybe you're even a little bit ashamed of. One more shuffle because I feel like something has to come out. Um... Yeah, this energy, this essence, this sense of time to collaborate. Uh, so maybe you got together with somebody, or you had a partnership or a collaboration. You don't feel you don't feel proud of it. A collaboration, something that you're working on that you don't feel proud of, and it's a big disappointment to you because the truth is, it's almost like it makes you look bad, and that's what's really irritating you and pissing you off because it's a collaboration that you were very excited about. This was something that was supposed to renew you and make you feel good, make you feel happy, be very, very good for you, put you in a, in a better place. But then it's just some bullshit that made you feel embarrassed. You know, it's something, something that embarrasses you. Collaborations, partnerships, it may not be somebody that you're dating. It could be your work or your job, a job that you did that you're extremely embarrassed by. You, you don't want to talk to your friends about it. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to tell your friends about it. You feel very diminished. This is an energy of maybe you feel just in general you you there's you don't want to talk to your friends about this something something that you want to hide something that you're embarrassed by something that made you makes you feel that it makes you look ridiculous and so you don't want to share it yeah you don't you don't want to share this, this is an energy of being ashamed open up to infinite possibilities time to shine time to shine. So this was definitely an energy of you expected this to open up a lot of doors, but then it ended up being embarrassing to you. Or it might open up lots of doors, but you had to compromise who you were in order for it to do it. And so there's a little bit of shame. There's a little bit of shame happening here. That's all I can, that's all I can keep saying. Um, you are never alone. You feel abandoned. You feel alone. You feel like you feel disrespected and disappointed. You feel like you were rejected. You were, this is major disappointment, major heartbreak. This is almost like three of swords energy when it's in reverse. Cause upright is like really unconditional love, but this was extremely conditional love. This was sort of rotten love or uh, twisted love. This was disappointed love. Let's put it that way. A lot of heartbreak, a lot of disappointment. Doesn't necessarily have to be, doesn't necessarily have to be actual romance or love. But this is the energy of, of just somebody that doesn't take care of you. Somebody that didn't, um, or even feeling like you disrespected yourself. And here we have the energy of believe in yourself, rebuilding. So you're just coming out of this phase of really having lost or been ashamed of something and not wanting to confront anybody or, or talk about it, right? Uh, closing off yourself to people who care about you, maybe. Um, and this is the energy, Virgo energy, of deciding to get back up on your feet and rebuild and start over and deciding that there is good aspects that could come from this or still beyond this, there's aspects of yourself that you still believe in. And step by step and little by little, you rebuilding, you rebuilding after a very big disappointment and a heartbreak. Um, watch and wait. This is patience, but also... Um, 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 observation, um, diligence and observation, um, 
father energy, an energy of, you know, a father, a nurturing father. Um, maybe that's who is helping to build you up. But at the same time, this is just slow moving patience. This is your energy. This is your energy showing up in your reading. So it's almost a sense of rebuilding yourself after a disappointment, after a heartbreak, after a disrespect, after somebody, somebody treated you badly. Um, surrender now. This is the energy of a moth to a flame. So this could very well have been succumbing to a, a base nature, a lower nature, a Sagittarius energy, somebody that you can't resist. You know that they're not good for you, but you just cannot resist them. This is an irresistible temptation, Pisces, that you, 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 you get burned for. Um, and you know, and I feel like this is an energy of, you know that you've been burned before. And that's why this is the central, the central reading. I mean, the central energy of this reading is just not being able to keep yourself from this behavior that ends up hurting you. Um, and that's why you're ashamed. So maybe you're, I don't know, going into counseling, taking a deep dive, trying to explore why do you keep making these same mistakes over and over and over again. You know, but this is also diving into the truth, so it could really hurt. So this is really brave energy of diving into those deep places, you know, taking a, one final breath and then going beneath and saying, I'm going to go into this darkness and I'm going to figure this shit out. And you're just really taking the plunge and sort of appreciating in that, in that act, you are taking back your power because your power is the water, number one, and you are taking ownership of the emotions. You're taking ownership of that feeling of all of those feelings everything that you are emotionally you're taking ownership of and you're sort of i'm not denying me maybe somebody else denied me but i'm not denying me and i refuse to feel ugly and ashamed this is a struggle within yourself to get yourself back a uh, time for a beginner mind it's time to start over it's time to start over and accept you for who you are but it's also time to be a little bit more defensive so if somebody comes back especially from the past Defend yourself against them because this is somebody that's very hard to resist, but they're just never any good for you. And it's almost like you know it and you need to be a little bit bristly this week, Pisces. It's absolutely essential. Um, tend to the small things because things have been building up for a very long time. This has been the rats and the pests living in the walls. And um, it, it's just this energy of it's been building for a while. Maybe things that you haven't talked about. These are emotional things. Things that you have tried to push away and not deal with. And the thing is, in not dealing with them, it just compounded the problem. You know, where you see one mouse, there's 400 in the walls. So you maybe, you know, you didn't want, you know, you're, you were very afraid of hurting the little mouse or the cute little mouse. I don't want to kill it. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to kill it. And then it goes back and has babies and then its babies have babies. And now there's a whole infestation if you had just take, taken care of this one freaking mouse. But it's almost like learning how to be defensive because you understand that people will play on your sensibilities and your sensibilities is like all access. When, once people dive in, if this is what it is. They're diving in deep. Oh, I get it. Somebody dived into your very depths and scratched the living you know what out of you. They ripped you up from the inside out and infected every aspect of you. And you're ashamed. You're taking that into yourself as if you're sullied. But that's not, you're, you're not sullied. Let it shine. You're shining the light on the real problem. You're going in there like a master exterminator and saying, oh, no, 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 I refuse to give up on me. And you're also calling people out on their bullshit. That's what I feel like this real energy of, oh, don't you try to lay this on me. Don't you try to, in other words, you discovered who was trying to throw their dirt in your backyard by distracting you with this thing that you couldn't resist. You discovered it, and now it's like, woo, woo, strobe light. You call on the police, shining it on them. They can't get out. They're caught. They're caught. Because this is energy. This is Scorpio energy, Pisces. This is maybe, maybe you have a Scorpio in your life that's coming to your defense and helping you. But this is the energy of, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sticking up for you. And I am exposing what was hidden in the dark. People are going to listen to me. I have an energy and a voice that people want to hear. They think I'm beautiful. You are beautiful and you're letting your voice shine out. This is part of your grounding energy. This is also your energy. Be, pe no, no. 
the moon. This is a moon card. Remember howling at the moon, the music of the moon, the energy and the soulfulness of the moon, the connectivity to the unseen. This is you. This is your energy. This is you shining a light on something that you had kept hidden or had hid in the dark for the purpose of giving yourself peace and serenity and offering yourself balance. Pisces, this is Libra energy. This is love. But it's, it's kind of big love. It's the energy of... The love of harmony, the love of balance, harmonizing, harmonizing what is in the dark by, in other words, accepting it. In other words, turning around and holding out your hand to your id and accepting what was hidden in the dark, accepting that aspect of yourself to incorporate it and balance it out with the rest of you. Hold on, Pisces, because I'm going to flip the camera around. Hold on. Okay. Here is your grounding energy. Here's your crowning energy and your central energy and everything happening on both sides. So grounding you is basically what is hidden in the dark. Those parts of you basically offering up an olive branch to those things that were hidden to heal yourself, to help to heal and to bring something to light, call something out that was stinking up your life. But accepting it. it's almost like accepting those things that you felt were hidden so what is wrong Pisces what is going on you it's almost like maybe you were willing to do too much for fame maybe you were willing to do or compromise too much of yourself for something else for a project and you were ashamed of it it's like you compromised a piece of you for gains and it worked it worked but simultaneously, you held some sort of shame in that. And you've held that shame for all this time. But I guess maybe a similar opportunity is coming up again. And like a moth to a flame, you can't resist it. Even if you're going to be ashamed of it. And maybe, why are you ashamed of it? I think that this is the discussion that's happening down here. What's the shame about? Why, why is there a sense of, I have to keep this hidden? And that's why there's this grounding energy of, but I accept, I'm going to accept this part of me now. I'm going to accept that maybe this ambition is a part of who I am. Why have I been ashamed of it when I should be putting it in the spotlight? It's part of what makes me, my shadows are part of what defines who I am. This is a surrender now, like a moth to a flame. You're giving over to what you really are, your truth. But there's definitely an opportunity here that you cannot resist. And this has basically burned you before. It's almost like a betrayal, either a betrayal of yourself or a betrayal of somebody. Believing in yourself after a huge heartbreak. Having to reconstruct who you are. This, 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 is, this is your energy. This is Piscean energy. But it's almost like somebody's watching you. It's almost like somebody's watching you put your heart back together again. And to be honest with you, it's a little bit scumbaggy. I do. I want to. I want to explore that energy with tarot because it's a little bit. It's a little bit scumbaggy. Somebody just sitting back there watching you do all the hard work, or maybe it's this energy of you not knowing how some people do it, not know how some people just get back up and put themselves back together again, wondering how, wondering how. Meanwhile, here you are, sort of defending the right rats in your walls. You have to um, make, um, yeah, it's like, it's like you want to just make it go away and pretend like it doesn't exist, even though the problem keeps getting, getting bigger. But this is an energy of you making a decision to take the deep dive and take the plunge. Maybe you want to get away from it all. Lose yourself. Lose yourself in the moonlight and the delusions and the fantasies and the show. This should, what this, I'll tell you what this should be, Pisces. This should be self-acceptance. This should be losing yourself in everything around you, all your emotions and accepting your emotions and diving in really deep to see what you're defending, what it is you're, because it's like you have to go beneath it, underneath it, into the dark. To really get to the real pests in the walls. What's really building up. You actually, I think, want somebody to come in and save you. 
because this may this may take the energy of somebody uh, investing in you in order to like make you be okay with yourself okay I need more details I'm gonna go over and do the full tarot card spread as well as your romance reading Pisces I'm gonna see like what exactly it is that you've been keeping he hidden or even if you don't want me to talk about this, this energy of who is this? Is this seahorse some scumbag or is it just you watching yourself put yourself back together again? Right? Will this deep dive, will this plunge? It will work. Well, will it work? Let's see. Okay, the extended link is below. Guys, I'll see you over there.